Hello everyone and welcome to a Sunday afternoon episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me your most gracious host Ted. Welcome to the Premier Alcohol Review Show here on YouTube. I'm probably looking a bit uh, grotty and a bit tired just because uh, I haven't really got much uh, downtime today uh, as far as Sundays go. Um, you know I started off by you know doing some hoovering, tidying up, doing the laundry, t uh, throwing out some rubbish, doing some meal prep for lunch and dinner for the first four days of the week. Um, and so yeah, I just haven't really had much time to rest really. I might even have a second shower of the day in a bit just to sort of refresh myself a bit. But I thought before I do that I need a little tipple to take the edge off. And um, I had a dear friend of mine, uh, Trev, down recently uh, to stay the night with me. And I hadn't seen him for many, many years. And um, while, while he was down we went to the uh, Brighton Open Market and... Um, one of the stores we went into, which I always really enjoy going to, because they do a great variety of stuff in there, was the Green Valley's Honey uh, store in uh, the Brighton Open Market. So, like, if you go into the entrance that's nearby the uh, Greggs on London Road, if you walk to near towards the opposite end of it, then it's on, like, the, um, the right-hand side in the corner. Uh, uh, like, not in when you walk in, but, like, on the far side. So... Uh, on the ground floor as well. Um, it's really good in there. They do all sorts of stuff. They do sort of different kinds of curds. Uh, I think they've done lemon curd in the past. Um, uh, I think I saw them doing a passion fruit one there yesterday when we went in there. They also do candles. They do honey-based uh, beers, honey-based soaps, uh, soaps with like honey and flowers in it as well. They do all sorts of stuff and it's really interesting and in what they do. And they're very much dedicated to sort of like conservation as well in terms of what they're doing uh, to, in terms of like, you know, beehives and, uh, you know, conserving the environment. Um, and uh, one company they've like collaborated with in the past or that they at least sell the products of in their store is our good friends at Linda's Farm. Now, I have reviewed Linda's Farm mead on the show in the past, but um, the Linda's Farm spiced version is one that I'm not really familiar with. I've reviewed a, a few different types of mead in the past. Um, and I saw this one in here, and this is a little five centiliter bottle, uh, and this was uh, three pounds in the uh, Green Valley's store. And I think if you go on to Linda's Farm's own like actual website, uh, I think uh, you can get the um, uh, spiced one for I think somewhere in the region of about. Say like uh, yeah, it's about eleven twenty-five for a seventy cent litre bottle if you buy it off of uh, Linz Farm's own website. I don't know if that includes uh, postal and packaging, though. So, hundred percent quote me on that. But yeah, definitely check out Linz Farm's website and also check out um, Green Valley's uh, own website as well. They do some really good stuff on there. But um, yeah, I, it's been a while since I reviewed mead. I've mostly been reviewing beers and ales recently, so I thought I'd review something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, this is 14.5% alcohol volume, 5 centilitres, £3, um, and it's a very handsome little bottle. I'll give it a good 10 out of 10 for the bottle. Simple, hearty, traditionally English, good stuff. Um, and I quite like the sort of more auburn, sort of like uh, crimson kind of colours against that light tint of gold and black there. That's very handsome. Um, but anyway, let's have ourselves a quick snifter and see what our first impressions are like. Hmm. It's got a bit more of a stronger, more um, pungent f uh, fermented after smell than the normal Linda's Farm, I, sh I should say. I can definitely t taste a bit of a tint of spice. I wonder what kind of spices they did put in this actually. Uh, Linz Farm spice needs are currently in. It's our first new meat. Wow, it's their f first new meat in nearly half a century. Uh, let's see, Linz, it, kept, it blends carefully chosen spices with our already famous meat to produce a delicious, sensational taste. It is produced by traditional methods only at our winery on Holy Island. Uh, let's see, okay. But what kind of spices does it have in it? Um, hmm doesn't really say on their website. Well, I'm getting a wee bit of cardamom and definitely a lot of cinnamon, so um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to this. That, I'd say the nose in the bottle is like an A out of 10. It's nice, but there's just some, a little bit of pizzazz missing. Um, in the glass, oh, in the glass it smells lovely. In the glass it's almost got like uh, sort of like an Auburn sort of like red wine after smell, so that's really nice. 
Yeah, in the glass, it's like easily like a nine or a ten for the nose. That is, oh, that smells lovely. Yeah, it honestly does smell like a nice. You got a sort of bit of cinnamon, bit of cardamom, bit of honey, almost like a red wine after smell. Really good. Yeah, no, honestly, it's easily like a nine at least for the nose in the glass. Oh, lovely. Anyway, as always, have a quick palate cleanser of water before we see what this sucker tastes like. And to everyone at home, I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, right, at least I hope you've had a good weekend. I hope you have a good week ahead, and I hope you've got all your meal prep and housework done out of the way. And if you haven't, then just do it in your own time and take care of yourselves. And of course, let's see what this sucker tastes like and bottoms up. Should have had more faith in Lindisfarne because they're the most consistent mead makers for me that I've, at least that I've tried so far. Um, but I will say one good thing about this is none of the individual flavours really like overpower each other, so it's very very well balanced. That's the main striking point of this. And obviously, you've got the initial onrush of honey, uh, fermented honey, sort of like it's very smooth and it's like the same level of taste throughout. So it's consistently the same level of strength, consistently the same level of uh, taste and vibrancy. And then the spiced aspect of it, which is a little bit cinnamony, a little bit... Um, not all but... A little bit cinnamony, a little bit almost fennely, um, fennel-esque, uh, but like very minutely so. That sort of spiced aspect sort of like sort of sort of um so think of like the honey aspect is sort of being a straight line uh, of like consistent like quality and level of taste and vibrancy and then this sort of like underline of spiceness it's sort of like it's sort of like a little sort of tint at the beginning and then it sort of winds out until it's like the same sort of level of strength as the honey flavor and so by the time they're about like equal level of like vibrancy and strength and full of body um, so like it's sort of like they sort of smoothly blend into each other. It's not like they're boom right in your face from the beginning. It sort of like melds together very very smoothly. Um, yeah, this is lovely stuff. Hmm, little bit sort of slight tint of a cinnamony aftertaste. And the thing is, even though both the spiced and honey aspects of this are quite prominent. Neither of them are too overpowering, so they're just uh, the right amount that you'd want it to be a sort of like relaxing drink um, to enjoy to take uh, a little bit of a tip or to take the edge off. But um, yeah, I really like that. That's really good stuff. I'll give that a good... I think that's probably my favourite mead. It's definitely my favourite mead from Lindisfarne so far. Mmm. Yeah, I'm struggling to find any faults with this, so yeah, good solid 10 out of 10. Lovely. It's um, the first, uh, you know, uh, legendary tier uh, drink that we've had in quite a while, but honestly, again, this is just based on my palate, but you guys might disagree. This is the best mead I've ever had. This is really, really good stuff. Yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend Linda's Farm Spiced Mead. Really good stuff. But, of course, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have anything you particularly agreed or disagreed with in this video, leave it in the comments section down below, as well as any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar. Someone did comment recently uh, to try the pear version of Strongbow Cider. I might actually have a look for that in my uh, next grocery delivery that comes in next month, so that is definitely one for the near future. And um, if you want to check out all the other stuff I do online, I'll leave the links to all that in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe for whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Brew Cellar. Bye-bye for now.